Every now and then, I get comments about having a lot of max rarity cards in Master Duel. You might be surprised to find out that I haven't spent a single penny on this game, and I don't even play it that much, as I personally prefer the TCG. That does what it do. So how do I manage to get so many royal finish cards? That's uh, what I'm gonna show you. But first off, real quick, we're less than 100 subscribers away from hitting 1,000. Be sure to hit that subscribe button so that you can brag and say you were here before our first big milestone. I'm pretty confident I'm gonna get a new royal finish card before the end of this video. And if I don't, then I'm not gonna post this video and you don't need to worry about it. There's actually nothing really special about this method. A lot of you probably already know the process, but if this video helps at least one person, then it'll be worth it. So first, just play the game for a while. While Konami is incredibly greedy with the TCG, they're surprisingly generous with the gems in this game. Like I said, I don't play too often, and I don't use any money, and yet I still max out my gems. So just play the game and do your daily missions if you want to move things along faster. Also, this should go without saying, but save your gems. Don't spend them on anything other than maybe the dual pass if you're going to be playing a lot. The first thing we're going to do is craft a super rare from the main archetype of your deck. That'll unlock a pack that contains your archetype for a limited time. This is why you want to wait until you maxed out on your gems, because if you don't, you're going to have to use up more crafting materials in between sessions just to unlock the pack again, lowering your chances of getting a max rare card. So now use up all of your gems on packs of 10. Only buy packs of your archetype to minimize the chances of pulling a royal finish card that you're not going to use. So don't branch out into non-archetype cards in your deck during this phase, unless you already maxed out the rarity of your archetype. This will save you a lot of time during this phase. I'm actually hoping not to pull a royal finish here, so I could show you guys in the final phase instead. If you don't pull any max rarity cards from here, the next thing you should do is go over your deck editor and click on the top right button. From there, click on the dismantle all extra cards. This turns all of your cards that you have more than 3 copies of into crafting materials. Considering we just opened about 10,000 gems worth of packs, we're gonna get a lot of crafting materials. And don't worry, it'll keep your higher rarity cards and you don't ever need more than 3 of a card because copies of cards transfer over to other decks. So for example, if you have 2 decks that each play 3 copies of Dark Magician, you don't need 6 copies, only 3. So now we're going to try and craft a royal finish card. At this point, you can craft things outside of your main archetype since every time we craft something, we know exactly what it's going to be, not some random pulls from a pack. Surprisingly enough, I've yet to pull a royal finish of Magician of Chaos, so that's what I'm going to be aiming for first. Find a card you want to craft and generate three of them at a time. Though I really wish Konami let us choose more than three, that would save so much time. And keep on doing this over and over until you either pull the royal finish or run out of materials. Well, uh, we ran out of materials and we still didn't pull a royal finish, but it's not over yet. We just crafted so many more Magician of Chaoses than we'll ever need, so we go back over to the top right and dismantle all extra cards again. Now we've got a bunch of crafting materials and we can try again. Do this step over and over until you either pull your royal finish or run out of both materials and extra cards. If you do happen to run out before pulling a royal finish, craft another card from your deck with another rarity, as you'll still have a bunch of material from the extra cards you dismantled earlier. This could go on for a while, so I'm just going to skip over until I pull a royal finish. And there we go, a royal finish I have to Myus. We used up all of our commons and rare materials, but we did pull a royal finish from our super rare materials. And I only chose I have to Myus here because all of the super rares in my deck are already royal finish. I think. Anyway, that's how I bling out my deck without paying any money. In summary, play until you max out on your gems. That shouldn't take too long. Buy packs of whatever archetype of your deck is mostly made up of to reduce the chances of pulling a royal finish you won't need. Then loop dismantling all of your extra cards and crafting each rarity of the cards you want. I hope that helped, and if you guys know of any other better process to bling out your deck, let me know, and I'll probably make a video about it. See you guys next time.